the param converter is something that I uh, that I spoke and uh, spoke about and used in uh, some previous videos, but but uh, in this one I'm gonna try to focus on it a little bit more. We're gonna dive into some details on how you can use it, and hopefully you're gonna get a better understanding. So it's uh, it's actually one of the, the most uh, you know, one of the things that I use the most in Symphony when dealing with, you know, with uh, with actions like this. So now we're going to take a look at that and uh, hopefully it's going to make sense and you're going to start using it more if you like to, of course. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off by an example. So what is this parameter converter, uh, param converter that I'm talking about? So in this case, as you can see, I have, uh, okay, so I need Firefox. Let me just go here and uh, yeah, so this and post, I think. So I'm trying to get a post and uh, this is the ID that, you know, I'm trying to get a post by ID. And as you can see, I have this post injected. So I have this type hinted in here and I'm gonna, just gonna have to add an ID that exists. And it's going to figure out by itself what I need and it's going to search for that uh, you know that post by ID and it's going to get it for me so let me just show you what I mean I'm gonna do one which does not exist as you can see the object was not found so I'm gonna do 34 which exists and as you can see I got my post in here so if I change this to uh, let's say for example you want to you know in this case you want to search by uh, let's say by the title so I have a post uh, I have not shown you yet what I'm using so I have this post entity that I'm using which has an ID a title a content and some relationship with other posts uh, other entities uh, I just want you to focus on the title and the content and the ID so that's what you know that's uh, what I'm gonna use basically in this and there's another property called published at which is a nullable value, it can be either null or set to a date. So I'm gonna get to, into that in a second. So let me just continue on this example. So let's say for example, I wanna search by the title. So I just gotta take that, that title. So if I use 34, it's not going to work because 34 is an integer and I need a string for the title. I'm gonna post, whoa, not that. I'm gonna post the, okay, so I need a post again. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to put this ID again. I'm gonna do before. I'm gonna copy this. And instead of using the, uh, the integer, I'm gonna change this to a type like this. And I'm going to search for that. So I'm gonna hit enter. As you can see, I got the same result. So it's now searching by title. Now this is great, this is, uh, as you can see, you don't have to inject the entity manager and you don't have to find one by and all that, it's doing that automatically for you. But how does it work actually under the hood? Let's say for example you have some, so this is just using the find one by. If you have an ID, it's going to use the primary key, it's just, it's just going to get you the, you know, it's going to use the find, uh, find uh, function with, uh, which takes just the ID. If you have a title or something that, uh, you know, that uses something else, another field, uh, one of your fields in here, it's going to get you that by by using the fun, find one by. Okay, so that's great. Let's see, for example, that you have some sort of a logic like mine. So in this case, uh, as I said, I have a post that can be published and I have a post that is still uh, in the draft. So that is not published yet. Let's say, for example, that I only want to get the posts that are, uh, that are already, already published. So this published ad should not be null. It should be set to some value, some date, uh, which equals the date that the post was published at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my post repository. So I... Uh, not that. So post repository like this and I'm gonna create a small function so let me just what the fuck? Uh, I'm gonna call this find uh, published by ID I'm just gonna use the ID in this case and uh, I'm gonna inject the ID right here I'm gonna create a query builder if you don't know how to use a query builder you can just you know watch some videos I have a I have a video about that so post like this I'm going to return uh, the query builder like this. I'm gonna get the query and I'm gonna get one or null result. So let's set up the query builder to get 
what we want. So I just want to select everything. I'm not going to add that. Uh, in the where, I'm going to do uh, expression and equals. So I'm going to get the post.id. I want the post.id to be equal to post ID like that. So let me just get rid of this. And I want another thing. I want the published at. So the post dot. Okay, so expression uh, is not null. So published at should not be null. And that's what I'm why I'm creating this at the first place. So published at should not be null. Uh, let me just add some documentation to get rid of that error because it annoys the hell out of me. So like that we have our query builder and now we can use that so how i can tell this you know all this stuff to instead of using the find one uh, find by or for, in this case the find by id how can i tell it to use this one instead you can use the entity annotation which takes two parameters let me just get rid of that the first thing is the name which is the name of the class of course i'm going to set this to post and the second parameter that you want to, uh, not the parameter, the second thing you want to pass is an expression. So an expression looks like this. You're going to add expr, which equals to repository. I'm just going to do repository like this. And if I can just spell right, yeah, that's spell right. And I'm going to specify, uh, specify my function. So in this case, it's called find published uh, by id and i'm going to pass it the id that i want right here so this is how you set up an expression uh, an expression let me see if this is going to work so i'm gonna open up this i'm gonna refresh must be of type integer yeah, yeah let me just get rid of this and let's put 34 2. again i mean uh, publish uh, id is not defined okay so id is of course because I need to set some parameters in here okay let me just do that sorry about that uh, let's set parameter and the post ID and uh, needs to be the ID okay and let's go back and see if we have any further errors so I'm gonna refresh and as you can see I don't have an error and the published ad is not null in this case but let me just go ahead and get something that uh, that is actually null uh what i want to do is my sql root p and six zeros i'm gonna use my database which is called websockets and what i want to select id and publish that from post as you can see some of these like 34 in this case is set so what i want is something that is not set let's use 20 in this example which is null now when I type in 20, I should get an error that this is not found. And that is correct because what I wanted to get me is something that equals the ID of the post needs to be this ID that I passed in and the published ad should not be null, should be a publication I mean, which is correct in this case. This is equals to false, so it didn't get me anything. So that's that's what I was looking for. That's the error. Now, this is the basic stuff that I wanna that I wanna talk about. Okay, and you can have like some options passed in here and all that. But one thing you can also do. Uh, I don't want to make the video long, so I'm just gonna quickly go over this stuff. One one other thing that you can do is you can actually create your know, your own uh, your own uh, what for what your own uh, what the hell your own converter. Sorry about that, I got, got crushed there for a second. So uh, in this case, I have a folder. I created a folder right here. It's called converter. In this case, let me just create something real quick. Uh, PHP, like this. So let me just create this class. I just want to show you the basic stuff and the requirements for this class to work. So app converter like that. God damn. Convert class custom now this in order for this converter to work it needs to implement the uh, what there is called uh, the param converter interface so that's the thing as you can see uh, PHP storm is already complaining about this so we need to implement two functions which are apply and supports now apply and supports 
uh, are not executed in this uh, in this order that are shown in here supports is uh, executed first and this function needs to return true in order for this apply to work okay so this you have to do some stuff in here let me show you just let's dump uh, some values i just wanted to show you how this stuff works before i end the video so supports uh called supports and as i said this needs to return a boolean so if false it's gonna stop here if true it's going to uh, do the apply so i'm gonna return true in this case just to show you and let's do dump what the hell is this called apply like this call okay let's go back to our stuff and as you can see we have no dumps i'm gonna refresh i'm gonna get two dumps in here as you can see the first one is sub called supports i have no idea Ooh, that's some weird english right there so called supports executed first apply called i'm gonna change this to false and as you can see i'm just gonna get one dump in this case and called supports i gotta change that called supports is uh, called and since it returned false apply did not execute so let me just show you one more thing before I end this. Configuration contains some stuff, so let's do configuration. And as you can see, we have the name, which is post. The name is this one, which is set right here in the entity. We have an expression, no, not expression, what the hell? Expression is inside the options, of course, yeah. Uh, which means you can set more options. We have a plenty of options. Uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention is when you so one thing i need to actually say before i move on is you can there are two converters in in uh, induction or symphony there is the doctrine which is something like this and there is the date time converter so if you have like i'm just gonna show you, i'm not gonna make an example but it's pretty much simple so if i have something like start and uh, end let's do end yeah If I type hint instead of a post like this and all that, if I do date time, date time, so this is going to give me a date time. So this start should be, it's going to get me, since this uh, this is hinted at a day, uh, as a date time, it's going to get me a date time entity or an object, which is a date. And you can format that by using the options and all that. So that's, I'm gonna leave that up to you. You can read the documentation, they, they have plenty of stuff. This is part of the symphony since your extra bundle, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the correct, uh, you know, the bundle that is that contains all this stuff. And yeah, what I was uh, gonna say, so I was here. Yeah, one thing I was gonna say is uh, I was gonna, you know, say some more stuff about about the options. Now the options can be passed after this. All you have to do is go options like. As you can see options it's already there and you can give it whatever you want uh, some you can even set the entity manager if you want so entity manager like this and you can specify whatever you want so if you are not using uh, if you want to use a different entity manager that than the default one you can do that you can set the value right here you can even uh, you know set a converter in here so converter like this I made a mistake yeah and you can you know do like custom converter like that and where is this custom converter coming from so uh, if you have some uh, in framework you have the so you can do something like this or if you have like uh, for some reason the sensio extra bundle i think that's the key so since you extra bundle the request for some reason you have the auto convert so auto convert set to false it's not going to work as you're gonna see in a second so uh, okay wait 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 mm, I think that's the wrong so since you I think it's a framework extra bundle or something it's just something like this and let me just try this no let me just get rid of bundle probably not going to work so i have uh, okay so let me just see oh so yeah it's a uh, sense your framework extra sorry about that if that is set to false as you can see it is not it has no idea what it's doing right now so let me just get rid of all the stuff that i was doing right here let me just turn this 
post. I'm going to put this back to ID. I'm going to get rid of the end and you know, I'm just going to leave this. I'm not going to refresh anyway. So it's, it's just going to give me some errors and all that. As you can see, it cannot auto-wire uh, auto the argument that is set right here. So what you have to do in this case is you have to, as I, as I was saying, you have to give it a converter. If you are setting the, for some reason, the auto convert is set to false, then you have to explicitly inside your services, you have to declare like, uh, so tag your uh, your uh, converter. So what you're gonna have to do is pretty simple. All you have to do is give it a class. In this case, it's app converter and custom converter. We have to, uh, to give it a tags. The tag that we're gonna give it is pretty simple. The name is going to, okay. name is going to be request param converter. You can set the prior uh, pri pri uh, you can set the priority of this. So if you set the priority to minus two, and you can even choose to not set the priority. For example, if you don't want to have a priority, so if you don't have a priority, basically what it's going to do, to do is just going to add your converter to the stack of converters that already exist. Uh, with a priority of zero. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. And the converter, which, uh, you can give it a name. So I'm just gonna do zero or minus one or whatever. And convert converter like this. I can give it a name like custom converter. And you can just go ahead and use it. As you can see, the name is messed up. But yeah, you get the idea. Uh, no custom. But you get the idea. You can use it right here and all that good stuff. So what you have to do in this, as you can see, it has to return uh, true if the object has been successfully set. Uh, otherwise, it's good. You know, it has, it's going to return false. And you can do whatever you want, or add your custom logic in here. Do whatever you know. Explore some stuff with this stuff. Uh, the parameter converter is pretty, pretty nice. I I love this feature, and I think a lot of people don't actually use it. And that's kind of sad to be honest but there you go you have now an idea how to do this stuff so go ahead and play with it and let me know what you think so if you like the video leave a comment or some feedback or you can just like the video okay so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one